Welcome back to the Cafe Remodel Project. Now it's time for the fun stuff. In the last episode, the sushi department was moved. In this episode, there will be a lot of demolition in what's called the atrium room. This room used to be part of the cafe, and about a year ago it was turned into a part of the beer section. This entire wall is going to be open. And this wall, which connects to the cafe, is going to be filled in. Inside there will be two coolers, and then two aisles of gondola shelving. Monday night the work has started. Their goal is to get beer stocked by Friday. The first thing they had to do is take all the beer from the atrium room and put it where the other beer is, temporarily. As you can tell it's pretty crowded in this area right now. They got the temporary walls put up around the atrium room. And here's the temporary wall in the cafe. Everybody's just getting started. The first step the carpenters need to do is remove the columns made out of fiberglass that are in the wall connecting to the cafe. They're not actually holding anything up. The wall is actually being supported from the ceiling. These things weigh a lot and it's really a pain to take them out. This wall is going to end up getting framed in and then on the other side you'll still be able to see the columns. When they take them out they're going to saw them in half and then they're going to put them back on the other side of the wall. This won't happen in this episode though. They also need to completely strip this wall. They took off the Corian countertop and then they need to take off the wood trim. This room is going to get new wallpaper, so the old stuff can just be taken off. Now it's time for the other side. This countertop is made out of Corian. Now they have the columns all done. 
Meanwhile, they're taking out the wall that's going to connect to the beer section. The wall is not going to be taken out all the way to the ceiling, just about to where that chalk line is where he's cutting. The two French doors that they're taking out are going to be reused as doors going into the cafe. That's going to be covered in the next episode though. This ceiling detail is being kept. Right now it's just a matter of taking off the drywall. They have to be extra careful when taking the doors and the trim off since they're being reused. Meanwhile, the electricians are bringing their wiring in, and then the other guys are working on getting refrigeration lines into this room. Here they are trying to get the refrigeration lines through the wall. There's a supply line and a return line. They're made from copper, and the black stuff is just insulation. Here it is being dropped down into the room. These cases will have two refrigeration lines each, one for supply, one for return, and then there will be another PVC pipe coming straight up, and there will be an acorn vac pump to pump up all the condensation. Time to start framing in the new wall. The drywall on the inside of the room is going to be flush, and it's just going to be a solid wall. On the other side, the opening is going to be recessed, and that's where they're going to put those fake columns back. They're using 5 8 inch drywall, so they just hold their bottom track 5 eighths of an inch off the edge of the wall. In order to tie in the new drywall, they need to knock off the corner bead on the existing drywall. Now they're just taping the seams on the drywall and finishing it up. There was a framing inspection this morning and it passed.
now the rest of this wall is being taken out. They're taking off the door trim. Once again, they're saving it. The drywall ceiling that's in these two little sections where the doors are, are being taken out, and this area is going to have a drop ceiling. This entire wall is being taken out. To take the steel studs out, you just have to unscrew them and then they come right out. You have to be extra careful around the sprinkler heads. If they hit them wrong, the sprinklers could go off. and they continue to finish the drywall. And here's the other side where the fake columns are going to go. The next morning the entire wall has been taken out. It's now open to the cafe except for the temporary wall. The wallpaper guy has started. The new wallpaper is a weird green color, but it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I don't want any left.
Here the plumbers are working on their drain lines. Basically, since there's refrigeration in the cases, there's going to be condensation. All the condensation goes down through the pipe and gets pumped up through an acorn vac system. The two black pipes coming down are the refrigeration lines. This drain line doesn't need to have any slope since it's being sucked up with pressure. Here's one of the two new cases that's going to go in this room. Now they're just fixing up the wood trim on these walls. They have to stand and stain them. Inside one of the walls they took out, there was a drain going into the floor. They need to cap it properly. The new cases are installed and they're being hooked up. Wallpaper is still being installed. Here's the new refrigeration lines being hooked up into the cases. Here you can see close up how the wallpaper is installed. The electric guys turn the lights on inside the cases. The 
Carpenters are working on putting the trim on top of the cases. Cases are up and running and they should be ready for beer tomorrow. The temporary wall has been taken down and it looks great. There's still some small work that needs to be done though. The gondola has been set up and all the beer has been filled. The wallpaper on the outside is going to be replaced. The new drop ceiling has been added. The recessed ceiling really adds a nice detail. The pipe that they took out still needs to be patched. And here's the other end of the beer section. There's a lot of work that's going to take place here next week, but you'll see that in the next episode. The two doors that were taken out of the atrium room are going to be added right here into this wall. They have to cut through the wall. All that wallpaper that you see is going to be replaced, only on the bottom though. And the last thing they need to do is to paint all the lines that they added in the ceiling so that they match. That's it for episode 2. Next week they're going to be cutting through that wall to add the new doors. They're going to be moving a bunch of the food bars around. They're going to be turning the registers doing more wallpaper, and a lot of other work.